In this video, we'll be taking a deep dive look into the exciting new AI tools that are available in the Canva Magic Studio. Magic Studio provides Canva users with access to easy to use AI tools that can perform a wide range of tasks. Whether you need to generate an image or video for your project, animate your graphics, or even create an entire presentation from scratch, the AI-powered tools available in Magic Studio will allow you to achieve your desired results in seconds. I'll demonstrate step-by-step -step how to use all of the amazing new Canva AI tools, including how to instantly generate templates, presentations, or videos with Magic Design, how to use AI to edit your images using text prompts with Magic Edit, how to generate AI images and videos to use for your designs, and much more. So let's head over to Canva and go over how to access and use the AI-powered tools in Magic Studio. So from the Canva homepage, let's start by looking at the menu on the left-hand side here and click the Magic Studio tab. Here's where we can get an overview of all of the exciting new AI tools that are available on Canva. The things that Magic Studio will allow you to do while designing is pretty incredible, and they're all super simple so anyone can use them. We have the Magic Design tools here where you can instantly turn your ideas into a design. Tools that will allow you to transform your content and perform some advanced editing techniques. Use text prompts to instantly generate images and videos from your ideas and several other AI tools to help you perform a range of tasks while designing. But in order to access and use all of the new AI tools available in Magic Studio, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. With Canva Pro, you can access all of Magic Studio's AI tools, enjoy unlimited access to the entire Canva content library, and unlock all of Canva's other premium tools and features. If you don't have Canva Pro yet, make sure you head over to learnwithjason.com or simply click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial. So now let's go over each of the AI tools available in Magic Studio and see what each one of them can do. First, let's go over how to use the tools available in Magic Design. With Magic Design, you can instantly turn your ideas into design templates, presentations, videos, or even have it write your text for you. So to get started, let's go over how to use Magic Design for templates. With Magic Design, you can use AI to create custom design templates for social media posts, promotions, or any other content that you may need. Simply upload your own image or video, and Magic Design will instantly transform it into personalized design templates that match the style of the media that you uploaded. Your AI-generated templates will include your uploaded media, text, and other complementary graphics. So let's head over to Canva and go over how to use Magic Design to create design templates. So to access Magic Design from the Canva homepage, all we have to do is go to the search bar here. From here, you can simply describe whatever it is that you're trying to create using five words or more. For this example, let's see if we can have Magic Design create Instagram posts for the Christmas shopping season. Once you describe what you want, go ahead and press enter. And the Magic Design AI will then start working its magic. It may take a few seconds to generate your templates, but once it's finished, you'll have several high quality design templates that you can choose from. Since I asked Magic Design to create Instagram posts, all of the templates should be square with 1080 by 1080 pixel dimensions. So let's check out the templates here and see what Magic Design came up with. As you can see, all of the templates have a unique design and include relevant graphics and text for the Christmas shopping season. All of the templates are fully customizable, so you can personalize any of the elements in the Canva editor. If we check out the options at the top here, we should see a tab that says Media. If we click this, it'll open up a menu where we can add our own media that Magic Design will use to create our templates. We have the options to select from our previous uploads, or click the button here to choose a file from our device. So let's click the Choose File button, then Find, and open up the image that I want Magic Design to use for my templates. Once you select your image or video, Magic Design will again start working its magic. And within a few seconds, you'll have several design templates that were made with the media that you uploaded. Once you generate your templates, feel free to browse through the various options and select the one that you like best. When you select a design template, you'll see a menu pop up where you can view details about the template. If everything looks good, go ahead and click the Customize This Template button and your AI-generated template will then be opened up in the Canva editor. From here, you can fully customize or edit your template any way that you like. Feel free to change the colors, the fonts, the text, adjust the layout or add new graphics, or anything else you wish. Once I've finished customizing my template, I can then download it and share it to my social media page. As you can see, 
this is a great way to create professional content super fast. Also, if you're already on the Canva editor, you can also access Magic Design from here as well. To access and use Magic Design from the Canva editor, let's look at the menu on the left hand side here and click the Design tab. From the Design tab, you can use the search bar up top here to create your Magic Design templates just like we did on the Canva homepage. Simply type in whatever it is you want to create using five words or more, and Magic Design will start generating your design templates. To check out all the template options, let's click the See All tab on the right hand side here. This will display all of the templates that Magic Design generated using my description. Take your time and browse through the templates, and when you find one that you like, simply click it to add it to the Canva editor. And just like before, we can edit and customize the template any way that we like. So that's a brief overview of how to use Magic Design for templates. Next, I'll be demonstrating how to use Magic Design for presentations. <laughs> With Magic Design for presentations, you can use the power of AI to instantly generate stunning presentations on any topic. Simply describe the presentation you want to create using a text prompt and you'll be provided with high quality AI generated presentation templates that include relevant text about your topic, images, quotes, and more. Once you select a presentation template, you can use the Canva editor to personalize it however you like. So let's head over to Canva and check out how to use Magic Design for presentations. To access Magic Design from the Canva homepage, we can go to the search bar at the top here. To generate presentation templates with the Magic Design AI, Simply type in the type of presentation you want to create using five words or more. For this example, let's see if Magic Design can create a presentation on how to start an online business. Once you describe your presentation, go ahead and press enter. And the Magic Design AI should start generating your presentation templates. It may take a few seconds to generate your templates, but once it's finished, you'll have several high quality presentation templates that you can choose from. Since I asked Magic Design to create presentations, all of my templates should have the dimensions of 1920 by 1080 pixels. Each presentation will include several slides and will also include relevant text about the topic you requested. To see the various slides, simply hover your mouse over the presentation that you want to view. Not only will this save you tons of design time, but can also save you hours of topic research time as well. With Magic Design AI, instead of spending days creating your presentation, you can now have one ready in mere minutes. So take your time and browse through the various presentations. Keep in mind, each presentation is fully customizable, so you can change anything that you wish. Once you find the one that you want to use, go ahead and click it to select it. This will open up a window where you can view the template information and view all the template slots. Each slot will already include relevant text, graphics, and even animations. So for my presentation on how to start an online business, let's see what the AI came up with. It says, the beginner's guide to starting an online business. Transform your passion today. Starting your online business, a step-by-step -step guide. Find your niche. To build a successful online business, you must find a specific target audience and provide a unique solution to their needs. By doing so, you create a solid foundation that sets your business apart from the competition and helps you stand out in a crowded online space. Not bad. It even has a slide that shows statistics and data about online business. The steps you need to take to get started, a timeline from idea to launch, and more. So if you're happy with your AI generated template, go ahead and look on the right hand side here and click the customize this template button. This will open up your presentation template in the Canva editor. From here, you can personalize the AI generated template as if you created it yourself. Feel free to customize your template by updating the text, changing your graphics, the colors, adding new slides, or anything else you like. By having a high quality presentation template to start with, you can now create your presentation super fast. Whether you have an upcoming business meeting or working on a class project, you can now use Magic Design to create professional presentations in minutes. If you're already working on a project and you wanted to access Magic Design from the Canva editor, you could easily do this by going to the Design tab from the menu on the left hand side. In the search field up top here, Go ahead and describe the presentation that you want to create using five words or more. You can then press enter and Magic Design will start working its magic. At the top of the menu here, you'll be provided with several AI generated templates that you can select from. When you select a template, you'll be taken to a menu where you can view all the slots. You can click the slots to add them individually or to add them all, simply click the button at the top here. And your AI generated slots will then be added to your design template. Just like before, 
Feel free to customize and edit your template any way that you wish. Once you're finished, you'll have a professional, high quality presentation that you can download or share. So that's a quick overview of how to use Magic Design for presentations. Next, let's go over how to use Magic Design for videos. With Magic Design for video, you can use the power of AI to create a stunning video on any topic in seconds. Simply upload your own media, select the clips you want to use, and describe the type of video that you want to generate. Magic Design will instantly transform your content into an engaging video with built-in music, text, and other effects. So let's head over to Canva and go over how to generate videos with Magic Design. So to get started, let's start by opening up a new video project. From the icons up top here, let's select videos. At the top here, we can select the type of video that we want to create. For this example, let's select Instagram Reel. This should open up a blank Instagram Reel video template in the Canva editor. So instead of spending hours trying to design the perfect video, let's see if we can have Magic Design do it for us. To access Magic Design, let's start by clicking the Canva Assistant icon on the right hand side here. This will open up a pop-up window with several options. Since we're currently editing a video template, you should see a tab up top here that says Magic Design for Video. If we click this, it'll open up a window where we can select the media to add to our video. When generating a video with Magic Design, you can upload up to 10 different files to use. But keep in mind, you'll need to add at least 3 files for Magic Design to create your video. You can select from videos and images that you've previously uploaded, but to upload new images, let's click the upload icon at the top left here. You can then find and select all of the files that you want to use for your video. Once you've selected your media, go ahead and click open. And the files you selected will then be uploaded to Canva. Once your media has been uploaded, make sure you select all the files that you want to include in your video. For my video example, I'm just going to select 4 video clips of one of my products. Once you've selected your files, you should see a new menu pop up at the bottom here. Here's where you can use a simple text prompt to tell Magic Design the type of video that you want to create. For this example, let's have Magic Design use my uploaded files to create a video to promote my 25% off t-shirt sale. So once you've selected your media and described the type of video that you want, go ahead and click the generate button at the bottom right. And Magic Design will start generating your video. It may take a few seconds for your video to generate, but once it's finished, you'll have a fully edited video complete with text, transitions, and even music. If we check out each clip here, we can see that they all have text that's relevant to the topic that I requested. So now, let's play the video and see how it looks. Not bad. I think this AI generated reel will work great to promote my new product on Instagram. Once you've generated a video with Magic Design, you can then customize it however you like. Feel free to update your text, your fonts, your colors, the graphics, the music, or even add new scenes. Once your new video is exactly the way you want it, you can then download it and add it to your social media page. So that's a quick overview of how to instantly generate videos on Canva using Magic Design. Next, let's go over how to add AI-generated text to your projects with MagicWrite. MagicWrite is an AI-powered writing assistant that can instantly generate any text or even answer questions while designing. With MagicWrite, you can eliminate writer's block by using AI to help you generate sentences, paragraphs, outlines, and much more. MagicWrite is available across all your designs on Canva, so it's always there to help you write during your creation process. So let's head over to Canva and check out the various features of MagicWrite. So let's say I want to create a new announcement for my upcoming marketing seminar, but I can't figure out the right words to say. Luckily, we can now use the MagicWrite AI to write the text for us. To access MagicWrite, let's start by clicking the Canva Assistant icon at the bottom right here. This will open up a pop-up window with several options. At the top, you should see a tab that says MagicWrite. If we click this, it'll open up the MagicWrite dialog box. Here's where we can describe the text that we want MagicWrite to generate using five words or more. For the first example, let's see if we can have MagicWrite write a description to promote my upcoming marketing seminar this Saturday. Once you've described the text that you want MagicWrite to generate for you, go ahead and click the Generate button at the bottom right. 
And in just a few seconds, the Magic Ride AI will provide me with professional text that I can use for my marketing seminar announcement. So let's make the text a bit bigger here and see what the Magic Ride AI came up with. It says, join us this Saturday for an exclusive marketing seminar. This seminar is designed to help you take your marketing skills to the next level. Our expert speakers will provide you with valuable insights and strategies that you can immediately implement in your business. Whether you're a seasoned marketer or just starting out, this seminar is perfect for you. You'll have the opportunity to network with other professionals in the industry and learn from the best. Don't miss out on this chance to grow your business and enhance your marketing skills. Register now to secure your spot. Wow, that's definitely better than anything that I could come up with. But I want to post my announcement to social media, and this might be a bit too long. So let's see if Magic Write can help me edit my text. If you select your text on your template, you should see a menu pop up right above it. From here, let's click the Magic Write tab. This will open up a drop down menu where you can have Magic Write continue writing your text, summarize your text, rewrite your text, make it more formal, fix the spelling, and more. So to make my announcement a bit shorter, let's select the Summarize option. And like magic, Magic Write will instantly summarize your text. Let's add some spaces between the sentences here to make it a bit easier to read. There we go. So now let's check out my announcement and see what the summarized version says. It says attend an exclusive marketing seminar this Saturday to enhance your marketing skills with expert insights and strategies. Network with professionals and learn from the best to take your business to the next level. Register now to secure your spot. I think that's pretty good. This would make a good announcement for my social media posts, but let's see if we can use Magic Write to make it even better. So let's select my text, then go back to the Magic Write option at the top. From the drop down menu, let's select the option to make my text more fun. Magic Write should then rewrite your text, and after a few seconds, you'll have an updated version. So let's check out my announcement now and see if it's more fun. It now says, get your marketing game on point with insider tips and top-notch strategies at our exclusive seminar this Saturday. Rub shoulders with the pros and learn from the best to take your business to the next level. Don't miss out and register now to secure your spot. Wow, I think that sounds much more engaging. I now have the perfect announcement to use for my social media post. So now, let's check out another really cool feature of Magic Right. Let's say you're brainstorming ideas and you need to come up with a list of TV show trivia questions. Let's start by adding the first question here and see if we can have Magic Right generate the rest for us. So I've added my title which is list of TV show trivia questions and also an example question. So now let's select the text then click the Magic Right tab at the top. From the drop down menu let's select the option that says continue writing. Magic Right should then start analyzing my text. And like magic, it'll provide me with several trivia questions related to my topic. It's pretty amazing how the Magic Write AI can analyze your text and know exactly what you need. So let's check out a few of the questions here and see what the AI came up with. The first question was actually my example question, but the next one reads, In the TV show Friends, what is the name of Ross and Monica's younger sister? The third question reads, Which TV show follows the lives of the Pearson family, including Jack, Rebecca, and their three children? The next one says, what is the name of the fictional city where the TV show The Office takes place? And many other relevant questions that I can use for my trivia game. As you can see, Magic Write is a powerful tool that can save you tons of time. Whether you're writing the text for a presentation or simply brainstorming ideas, Magic Write is a tool that you have to try out and use. Next, let's check out the AI tools that you can use in Magic Studio to help transform your designs. The first tool we'll be taking a look at here is Magic Switch. Magic Switch is an extremely helpful tool that allows you to instantly transform your Canva designs into a new size or format. With Magic Switch, you can now use the power of AI to transform your designs into documents, resize your design, or even translate your design text into another language for an international reach. In just a few clicks, you can select a new format or dimensions and watch as all your text, elements, and other content are automatically reformatted. So let's head over to Canva and go over how to access and use Magic Switch. So I've created a demo presentation here on digital marketing strategies. It's currently written in English, but let's say I want to change it to another language. To do this, let's look at the top toolbar here and click the Magic Switch tab. This will open up a drop down menu where you can use the Magic Switch AI to translate your text, transform your design into a document, or instantly resize your design. 
Whether you need to resize your design for social media, presentations, websites, or anything else, you can do that here. So first, let's see if Magic Switch can transform my presentation into a different language. To convert my text, let's click the Translate tab at the top here. This will open up the Translate menu. At the top, you'll see a drop-down menu where you can select the language that you want to translate your text to. They have over a hundred languages to choose from, so you'll likely find whatever it is you're looking for. So to find my language, let's go to the search bar at the top here and type in Spanish. I can then select the Spanish option here. After you select your language, you can use the next drop-down menu here to select the pages that you want to translate. For this example, I'm just going to translate all the pages. Also, if you wanted to translate your design without making a copy, you could select the checkbox here. But I'm going to leave this unchecked because I like to have both versions of my design. So once you're finished, go ahead and click the blue translate button here. And the Magic Switch AI will start translating all of the text in your design. And after a few seconds, your design will be copied and translated. So let's click the button here to open up my translated presentation. And there we have it. All of my text has been translated to Spanish. After translating your design, if you check out the pages, you may notice that some of the words and graphics may be a little bit off. This is because when you translate to a new language, that language may have less or more letters for each word. So to fix this, feel free to resize your text and move your graphics around if needed. But once you're finished, you'll then have a new copy of your design in a new language that you can use to reach a wider audience. Although I'm learning, unfortunately I don't speak Spanish yet, so let's go back to the English version and see what else Magic Switch can do. So we've gone over how to translate your design to a new language. Now let's see if we can use Magic Switch to transform my presentation into a document. To do this, let's go back up to the Magic Switch tab at the top here. From the drop down menu, this time, let's click the option that says Transform into Doc. From here, you can use AI to turn your design into a summary, a blog post, song lyrics, and much more. Not only the size and format will be transformed, but also relevant text will be added using AI depending on the option you select. For this example, I'm just going to select the summary option. Once you select your text format, go down to the bottom here and click the transform into doc button. And the Magic Switch AI will then start analyzing your design and creating your document. Once it's finished, you should see a message here that says copied and transformed. So let's click the open doc button here to open it up and check it out. And my presentation has been transformed into a summary document. Not only does it include the text that was in my original design, but the AI has added even more relevant text to the summary as well. And just out of curiosity, let's transform my design into a blog post this time and see what the magic switch AI can come up with. The AI should then analyze my design and my design has been copied and transformed. Let's click the open doc button here to check out my new blog post. Wow, this is actually pretty amazing. Magic Switch took my original text and turned it into a full length blog post. It's titled Digital Marketing Strategies, Learn Online Marketing and Promotion Techniques. We have a section here on understanding digital marketing and a section going over effective online promotion strategies, which include social media marketing, search engine optimization, email marketing, and content marketing. Wow, this would have taken me all day to write, but Magic Switch was able to do it in seconds. So whether you need to transform your design into a summary, an email, a blog post, or any other document, you can now easily do that with Magic Switch. So let's head back over to my original design and see what else we can do. If we go back to the Magic Switch tab up top here and go all the way down to the bottom of the drop-down menu, you'll see the section where you can resize your design. You can select standard or custom dimensions or even browse by category. You can resize your design for social media, print products, or presentations. So for this example, let's click the social media tab. From here, you can select to transform your design into any social media format that you like. They list pretty much every format for every platform. So for my presentation, let's transform it to a square Instagram post. Once you select what you want to transform your design to, go ahead and click the continue button at the bottom. You'll then be shown a preview of how your design will look once it's transformed. If everything looks good, go ahead and click on copy and resize. And my presentation has now been copied and resized for Instagram. Let's click the open Instagram post button here to check it out. And here's my design that's been reformatted for Instagram. All of my text, graphics, and the colors I selected should be added. Whenever you transform a design, 
make sure you check out each page and make sure everything looks correct. When changing sizes, sometimes your text and graphics may get a little bit rearranged or smooshed together. But of course, this can all be corrected in the Canva editor. So that's a quick overview of how to translate and resize your designs with Magic Switch. The next Magic Studio AI tool that we'll be taking a look at is Magic Animate. Magic Animate allows you to instantly add animations and transitions to your entire Canva design with a single click. Simply select Magic Animate and the AI will automatically suggest the best animation style based on your content. There are tons of animation effects available that can make your design elements move in unique ways. This allows you to create really engaging presentations, social media posts, or add creative elements to your videos. So let's head over to Canva and go over how to instantly animate our designs with Magic Animate. So I'm working on this example presentation here and I've just finished adding all of my text and my graphics. I think it looks pretty good, but if we play the presentation, we can see there's no movement or transitions, so it could be a bit boring to the viewer when I present. So let's see if we can make my presentation a bit more attention grabbing. To do this, let's animate my design elements with Magic Animate. To access Magic Animate, let's select my design background. Then from the top toolbar up here, let's click the Animate tab. Here's where you can view all the various animations that are available on Canva. Instead of spending tons of time trying to animate each element of your design, we can now use AI to add the perfect animations with Magic Animate. To add animations to your design with Magic Animate, simply click the Magic Animate tab at the top of the menu here. And Magic Animate will then start adding your animations. And there we have it. The recommended animation style that was selected by the AI is called Professional. To preview your animation, simply hover your mouse over the icon. Not bad. I think the animation makes it much better. If you don't like your recommended style, there are also alternative styles at the bottom that you can select from as well. Feel free to hover your mouse over each style and see which one you like best. They have everything from professional styles to more playful styles. For my presentation, I think I'll select the bold animation style. And my design has been animated. Now that I've animated my design elements, let's take a look at my transitions as well. If you have multiple pages in your design, you can view your transitions by clicking the round icon in between the pages at the bottom here. This will open up the transitions menu on the left. Looks like Magic Animate added the line wipe transition to my design, but I can also check out the other transitions here and select a different one if I like. For my design, I think I'll go with the color wipe transition. Once you select the transition, you can also adjust other settings here such as the duration, the direction, and even the colors. I think I'll just leave that as is. Now on each of your pages, if you go up to the top menu here, you should see the name of the animation that's been applied. So feel free to go through all the pages of your design and check out your animations and transitions and see if you want to make any changes. You can change the animation for individual elements by simply selecting it, then going to the Animate tab at the top toolbar. They have tons of really cool animations that you can add to your design. So take your time and find the ones that best fit whatever you're creating. So now that I've finished adding my animations, let's check out my presentation now and see how it looks. I think that looks much better. Adding animations to my presentation definitely makes it more eye-catching and attention-grabbing. With animations, I think this will be a lot less boring when I'm ready to present. So that's a quick overview of how to instantly add animations to your designs using Magic Animate. For the next demo, We'll be going over how to transform text and shapes with written prompts using Magic Morph. Magic Morph is a cool new AI feature that allows you to instantly transform your words and shapes using text prompts. Whether you want to make your element look like it's made of gold or maybe made of some beautiful flowers, you can now do this with Magic Morph. Simply select your text or shape, describe how you want the element to look, and watch as it changes into the style that you described. With Magic Morph, you can enhance your text and shapes and create custom graphics for your Canva designs. So let's head over to Canva and go over how to transform elements using Magic Morph. So I have a design here that I've been working on, but I wanna see if I can make it a bit more eye-catching. To do this, let's see if I can transform my text and graphics using Magic Morph. To access Magic Morph, let's look at the menu on the left-hand side here and click the Apps tab. This will open up a menu where you can browse all the apps that are available on Canva. At the top of the menu here, Let's go to the search bar and search for Magic Morph. 
From the results, the Magic Morph app should be the first one here with the M logo. Let's click the icon to open it up. And here's where you can use the Magic Morph AI tool. With Magic Morph, I should be able to transform any of my text, all the standard shapes on Canva, and simple graphics. So to use Magic Morph, the first thing we need to do is select the element that we want to transform. Let's start with my less party text. When you select an element, you'll see it appear in the top box on the left hand side menu here. Once you've selected your element, the next thing you'll need to do is describe the look you want to transform it to. When describing your look, try to describe what you want in the most detailed way possible. For this example, let's see if we can make my text look like it's made out of colored balloons. Once you've finished describing your look, go ahead and go down to the bottom here and click the Magic Morph button. And the Magic Morph AI will start transforming your element. It may take a few seconds for it to transform, but once it's finished, you'll have four different versions that you can select from. As you can see, my Let's Party text has been morphed into balloons. I think these look pretty good, but if you wanted to generate new versions, you could click the Create Again button here. But for this example, I think I'm going to go with the first option at the top left. Once you select one of the elements, it'll then be added to your template. Once it's added to your template, you can then rearrange, resize, and edit the element however you like. There we go. My Let's Party text has now been changed to colored balloons. I think that looks pretty cool. This is definitely a lot more attention grabbing than my original text. If you like, you can also add the other versions to your template as well and see which one looks the best. So we know Magic Morph works great with text. Now let's see how it does with graphics. Let's go back to the Magic Morph home screen by clicking the Go Back button here. When using Magic Morph, keep in mind that it'll work on all standard shapes on Canva and the simple graphics, but it doesn't have the capability to morph the more complex graphics quite yet. The cake is a bit too complex, but for the next example, let's see if we can transform my balloon here. You'll see a preview of your element at the top of the Magic Morph menu. Once I select my element, I can then describe how I want it to look. For my balloon, let's see if we can make it look like it's made of shiny metal gold. Once you've described your desired transformation, go ahead and go down and click the Magic Morph button. And Magic Morph should then start transforming your element. After a few seconds, you'll have several versions of whatever it is you described. For my gold balloon, I think these all look great. Feel free to check out all the different results and select the one that you want to use. Once it's added to my template, I can delete the old version and replace it with my new gold balloon. As you can see, Magic Morph is a really innovative AI tool that allows you to make some really cool transformations. I encourage you to give it a try for yourself and see what all you can morph your text and graphics into. With Magic Morph, you can truly create some unique and custom designs. So that's a quick overview of how to use Magic Morph to transform your text and graphics. Next. We'll be going over how to convert your text into images or videos using Magic Media. Magic Media allows you to turn your ideas into high quality AI generated images or videos using simple text prompts. Simply write a short description of the image or video that you want to create. Select the style and watch as Magic Media works its magic. You'll be provided with several AI generated options that you can choose from and add to your Canva project. Whether you need a unique photo for your presentation or a custom video clip for your project, you can now use the Magic Media AI app to create whatever you need in seconds. So let's head over to Canva and go over how to generate AI images and videos with Magic Media. For this example, I'll just be using a blank Instagram post template. No matter what you're creating, you can access Magic Media from the Canva editor. So to access Magic Media, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and go to the Apps tab. This will open up a menu where you can browse all the apps that are available on Canva. So let's go to the search bar up top here and search for Magic Media. From the results, the Magic Media app should be the first icon here. Let's click it to open it up. And here's the Magic Media text to image or video AI app. For the first example, we'll be generating an AI image from the images tab. To have the AI create our images, all we have to do is describe what we want, select a style, and choose a format. So to get started, let's go up to the top text box here and describe the type of image we want the AI to generate. For the first example, let's see if the Magic Media AI can generate an image of a reindeer running through a dark snowy forest. Once you describe your image, you can then move down to the next section and select your image style. 
there are tons of really cool styles that you can select from. So let's click the see all tab to check them out. From here, you can see several different categories of styles. We have photography for more realistic looking images, which includes things like photo, minimalist, and filmic. Digital art for things like 3D images, playful or concept art. And fine art for things like colored pencil images, watercolor, and even stained glass. So for my reindeer running through a dark snowy forest, I think I'm going to select the digital art dreamy style. So I've described my image and selected a style. Now let's scroll down to the bottom here and select my aspect ratio. You have the options to select from a square image, landscape, or portrait, so you can create the perfect images for any platform. For my Instagram post example here, let's select the square aspect ratio. So once you've finished adding all the details for your image, go ahead and go down to the bottom here and click the Generate Image button. And the Magic Media AI will start analyzing your text, adding your style, and generating your image. This may take a few seconds, but once it's finished, you'll have several high-quality AI-generated images that you can select from. Wow, I think these actually look amazing. Each image includes a reindeer running through a dark snowy forest just as requested. Feel free to look over the various images, and once you find one you like, simply click it to add it to your project. As you can see, the images generated by Magic Media are super high-quality. It's amazing how you can simply type what you want and have the AI generate it for you instantly. Once you've added an image to your Canva project, you can resize it, rearrange it, add text and graphics, or edit it any other way that you like. This is a great way to create custom social media posts, presentations, and other designs. So let's click the Go Back button here to go back to the Magic Media home screen and check out one more example of the AI images that can be generated with Magic Media. In the description box, this time, Let's see if we can have Magic Media create an image of a motorcycle racing down a curvy mountain road. Now that I've described the image I want, I can now select my style. This time, I think I'm going to go to the photography section and select Neon. This one seems like it'll be pretty cool, so I want to see how it looks. I can then scroll down and select my aspect ratio. I'm just going to stick with square. So let's go down and click the Generate Image button. And Magic Media will start analyzing my text and generating my image. And here's my motorcycle racing down a curvy mountain road. As expected, the neon style looks incredible. This was a photography style, so it has a more realistic look. Once I select an image and add it to my template, I can now edit it or use it with another design. From the image results on the left here, if you click the three dots icon at the top right of any of the images, this should open up a menu with a couple options. If you need more similar images, you can click the first option here to generate more images like the one you have selected. And if you go to the second option here, you can generate a video using your selected image. This is a really cool feature that allows you to create some amazing content. The AI generated videos are short clips, but they're still pretty incredible. So speaking of videos, now let's go over how to use the Magic Media text to video AI feature. From the Magic Media app home screen, let's look up at the top and click the Videos tab. Here's where we can use text prompts to turn our ideas into videos. The videos that are generated are only a few seconds long, but they're still really cool. So just like we did when generating our images, let's go to the text box here and describe the type of video that we want to create. When describing your video, try to be as detailed as possible. Include colors, places, the type of movement, and any other details that you can think of. For the first example, let's see if Magic Media can create a video that's in the ocean with colorful fish and a coral reef. Once you've added the details for your video, you can then go down and click the Generate Video button. And Magic Media will start analyzing your text and generating your video. For videos, it may take a bit longer to generate than images, but it's definitely worth the wait. And here's my AI generated video of a colorful fish in the ocean by a coral reef. Wow, this looks super realistic. Let's add it to my template so we can get a better view. The details in this AI generated video is super impressive. It really looks like somebody shot a video of a fish in the ocean. I'm pleasantly surprised at how this video turned out. So let's click the go back button and try out another example. This time, let's get a bit more fancy and see if the Magic Media AI can create a video of an enchanting castle full of mystery and wonder. Once you describe your video, go down to the bottom and click the generate video button and Magic Media will start working its magic. After about a minute or so, you'll have your new video. Let's add it to my template and check it out. 
So here's the video of my enchanting castle full of mystery and wonder. That looks pretty enchanting to me. So as you can see, the images and videos that you can generate with magic media are super high quality and detailed. I encourage you to try it out for yourself and see what kind of media you can generate. So that's a quick overview of how to use text to generate images and videos with magic media. Next. We'll be going over how to replace items in photos or perform advanced editing techniques with AI using Magic Edit. Magic Edit is an AI powered photo editor that can actually replace or add new items to your photos and make it look as if they were always a part of the original image. With Magic Edit, anyone can make complex photo edits without needing prior experience or advanced editing software. Simply describe the change you want to make using a simple text prompt. And watch as the Magic Edit AI magically adds, enhances, or replaces the object in your photo. Whether you want to replace an object, change element colors, or seamlessly remove an item from your photo, this can be done instantly with Magic Edit. So let's head over to Canva and go over how to access and use Magic Edit. So I have a cool photo here of a country farm that includes both a barn and a tractor. I'll be using this to test out all the different capabilities of Magic Edit. You can use Magic Edit on photos that you upload or photos that you get from the Canva library. So to access Magic Edit, the first thing we need to do is select our photo. When you select your photo, you should see a toolbar appear at the top here with various options. To test out Magic Edit, let's click the Edit Photos tab. This will open up a menu on the left with tons of editing options. At the top, you should see a section that says Magic Studio. From here, Go ahead and find and select the option that says Magic Edit. And here's where we can use the Magic Edit AI feature to edit our photo. So for the first example, let's see if we can use Magic Edit to change the tractor into a pickup truck. To do this, we'll first have to start by brushing over the area that we want to change. So let's go up to the top of the menu on the left here and select our brush size. You can use the slider here to make your brush larger or smaller depending on the object that you need to highlight. I think that'll work. So once you select your brush size, go ahead and brush over the object that you want to change. Make sure to try to cover your entire object. It doesn't have to be perfect, but make sure you brush over and highlight the object and surrounding area. This will be the area that you're telling the Magic Edit AI to work. So once you finish using the brush to highlight the area that you want to change, go ahead and go to the menu on the left here and click the continue button. This will take us to the next step where we can describe the changes that we want to make. In the text field here, you can simply write whatever you want to add or change and the Magic Edit AI will make the changes for you. For my tractor here, I'm going to ask Magic Edit to turn it into a red pickup truck. Once you describe what you want Magic Edit to change, go ahead and go down to the bottom here and click the Generate button. Magic Edit will then analyze your text and start editing your photo. This should only take a few seconds and once it's finished, you'll have several different options that you can select from. So as you can see, my tractor has been turned into a red pickup truck. It looks a bit small, so I should have highlighted a bit more of the area, but it still looks amazing. To view the other options here, simply click the image to add it to your template. You can browse through the various images and find the one that looks the best. If you're not happy with your current selection, you can generate new results by clicking the button here. But for my image, I'm just going to go with this. So let's go down to the bottom and click the Done button. And the photo of my farm here now has a red pickup truck. Without Magic Edit, it would have taken some advanced editing skills to accomplish this. So let's try another example, and this time, let's see if we can transform my barn. So with my photo selected, let's go to the Edit Photo tab, then from the menu on the left, click the Magic Edit icon. So to edit my barn, let's start by selecting my brush size, then highlight the entire area that I want to change. Now that I've highlighted my barn, I can then go to the menu on the left and click the continue button. Now let's tell Magic Edit the changes that I want to make to my barn. For this example, let's see if Magic Edit can turn my barn into a medieval castle. Once you describe your changes, go down to the bottom and click the generate button. And Magic Edit will start working its magic. After a few seconds, you'll have several high quality options that you can select from. Wow, these are actually really cool. As you can see, not only has my barn been transformed, but Magic Edit will also adjust the background if needed as well. All the castles blend in perfectly and look like they were part of the original image. So go ahead and select the one you like best, then click the Done button. And both the tractor and the barn in my photo have been transformed. As you can see, 
you can use Magic Edit to make some really advanced photo edits. With the power of AI, you can simply tell Magic Edit whatever it is you want to generate, and it will magically appear in your photo. This makes advanced photo editing super easy, even for complete beginners. So that's a quick overview of how to use Magic Edit to add or replace objects in your photos. Next, we'll be going over how to make your photos editable, just like a Canva template, with Magic Grab. Mm -hmm. Magic Grab is an amazing new AI tool that allows you to turn any image into an editable template. Simply upload a photo or a screenshot, select the part of the photo that you want to edit, and easily rearrange the text or graphics. With Magic Grab, you can resize text or other elements, reposition objects, and easily edit your photo just like a standard Canva template. So let's head over to Canva and check out the new Magic Grab AI feature. So the first thing we need to do is upload the image that we want to edit. To do this, let's go to the Uploads tab from the menu on the left hand side. Here's where you can view all the images that you've uploaded to Canva. To upload a new image, let's go up to the Upload Files button. You can then find and open up the image that you want to edit. Once it finishes uploading, go ahead and drag it over to your template. So here's the image that I want to use to test out Magic Grab. I have a bit of text on the left hand side and my profile image on the right. With Magic Grab, I should be able to turn this photo into an editable template. So to access and test out Magic Grab, let's select my photo and from the toolbar up top, let's select the Edit Photo tab. This will open up a menu on the left with many different options to edit your photo. In the Magic Studio section at the top, you should see the Magic Grab icon. This is the option you can select to edit the image in your photo. To edit your text, you can use the Grab Text icon. So let's start by selecting the Magic Grab icon and see if it'll make my image editable. The Magic Grab AI should then analyze your photo and after a few seconds, your image should be editable just like a Canva template. I can now resize and rearrange my image and the AI will even fill in the background. This can come in super handy for making quick edits to your photos and designs. I can even add effects and other edits to my image without affecting the rest of my photo. There we go, I think that looks much better. I was able to upload an original photo and edit the graphic as if it was a Canva template. So I was able to use Magic Grab to edit my graphic. So now let's see if we can edit my text. To do this, let's select my image, then go to the Edit Photo tab at the top toolbar. From the menu on the left, let's go to the Magic Studio section, and this time, let's click the Grab Text icon. The AI will then analyze your photo and grab your text. I should now be able to move my text around and resize it. But not only that, I can actually click and edit the actual text itself. You can even add effects, change the layouts, and even change your text style. I'm actually pretty impressed with how good this worked. Magic Grab worked perfectly to turn my photo into an editable template, and I was able to enhance it and make it much better. I can now download my new photo and use it for whatever I like. So that's a quick overview of how to use Magic Grab to turn your photos into editable templates. Next, we'll be going over how to use AI to generate or expand any scenery with Magic Expand. Magic Expand uses the power of AI to magically generate and extend your photos in any direction. This allows you to automatically fill in missing sections of your photos, fix awkward framing, extend sceneries, and continue editing your photos past the original edges. Simply upload an image, select an aspect ratio, and select a recommendation from Magic Expand to extend your photo. So let's head over to Canva and go over how to extend images with Magic Expand. So I have this image here that I want to use to promote a new sweatshirt that I'm launching in my online store. It was taken vertically, which is perfect for TikTok or Instagram stories. But I also wanted to use this photo on other platforms and maybe even my website. But before I use the photo on other platforms, let's see if we can expand the scenery to fill in the blank white sections here. To do this, let's go over how to access and use Magic Expand. First, start by selecting the image that you want to expand. You should then see the photo toolbar appear at the top here. From the toolbar, go ahead and select the Edit Photo tab. This will open up a menu with various apps and tools that you can use to edit your photo. In the Magic Studio section at the top here, you should see an icon that says Magic Expand. Let's click that now. And here's where you can use the Magic Expand AI feature to extend your photos. To extend your photo, make sure you're on the Expand tab. From here, the first thing we need to do is select the size. 
You can select a custom size, extend it to the whole page, or select any of the standard sizes displayed here. For my vertical image here, I want to expand it outwards. So let's select the 16 by 9 dimensions. And once you select your desired dimensions, go down to the bottom here and click the Magic Expand button. And Magic Expand will start analyzing your background and extending your image. Keep in mind, images with faces, hands, or transparent backgrounds may not work as well when expanding. But once it's finished, you will have several high quality options that you can select from. To view the various options, simply select the image to add it to your template. Wow, I think these all look pretty great. As you can see, Magic Expand was able to extend my photo and fill in the empty white spaces using artificial intelligence. So go ahead and browse through the various options, and when you find the one you like, go ahead and go down to the bottom here and click the Done button. And my original vertical image has now been expanded. The sections of my photo that were generated by AI are super high quality and pretty impressive. Once you expand your image, you can then add text, graphics, or make any other edits that you like. So now, not only can I promote my new women's sweatshirt on TikTok and Instagram, but also all other social media platforms, my website, and anywhere else I want to market my product. So that's a quick overview of how to easily extend your photos using Magic Expand. Next, we'll be going over how to magically erase objects in your photos with Magic Eraser. Magic Eraser is a powerful AI feature on Canva that allows you to easily erase objects in your photos. Not only will Magic Eraser remove unwanted items, but also seamlessly fill in the background space where the object was located. Simply brush over the item or element you want to get rid of, and watch as Magic Eraser removes it from your image. So let's head over to Canva and go over how to remove items from photos with Magic Eraser. So to test out Magic Eraser, I'm going to be using this photo here of two foxes standing in a field. I want to see if I can use Magic Eraser to remove the fox on the right and fill in the background to make it look as if it was never there. So to access Magic Eraser, let's start by selecting my photo. This should open up the image toolbar at the top. From here, go ahead and click the Edit Photo tab. Here's where you can access all the photo editing tools and apps available on Canva. From the Magic Studio section at the top, let's find and select the Magic Eraser icon. Here's where you can use Magic Eraser to remove unwanted items from your photos. So to remove my fox, let's start by selecting a brush size by using the slider at the top here. Your brush size will depend on the size of the object that you're trying to remove. I think that'll work. Once you adjust your brush, go ahead and brush over and highlight the entire object. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try to highlight everything that you want to remove. Once you're finished, simply release your mouse button and Magic Eraser will automatically start removing your item. This may take a few seconds, but once it's finished, your item should be removed. As you can see, my fox has been removed, but there's still a few traces of him left on my photo here. When using Magic Eraser, you may have to go over the object and the area a few different times before everything is completely removed. There we go. That looks much better. So as you can see, Magic Eraser has completely removed the fox and even filled in the background. I can now edit my photo or create a design as if the fox was never even there. This is a powerful AI tool that allows you to remove unwanted items and perform some advanced photo editing. So that's a quick overview of how to use the Magic Eraser AI tool on Canva. So as you can see, Magic Studio offers a powerful suite of AI tools that can help simplify your design process and save you tons of time. Whether you need to create AI videos or images, or perform advanced editing techniques for your designs, you'll have everything you need to achieve your design goals with Canva's Magic Studio. But keep in mind, in order to access all of the amazing AI-powered tools in Magic Studio, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. To unlock your free trial of Canva Pro, make sure you head over to learnwithjason.com or simply click the link in the video description. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.